How's it going YouTube? Today I'm going to be playing for you a slime parkour. It's uh, something that I created. So first things first, I guess I'm going to go ahead and address the fact that people continuously seem to bitch about me not doing deathmatch parkour. So here is a deathmatch parkour. It's actually the third deathmatch parkour that I've uploaded this week, but somehow people seem to continuously overlook that and they just complain about me not doing deathmatch parkour. So let me, let me state that again. This is the third one that I have done in seven days. So, you know, if you guys think I'm really not doing them, you're clearly just not watching my channel. But anyways, yeah, this is a parkour that I created. Um, I just tried to play this a second ago, and I got booted from Rockstar Online or something like that. Like, the service just said that they were unavailable. It was really fucking random. But anyways, yeah, this is a deathmatch that I created. Um, if you guys know anything about ASMR, right now, one of the big things in the ASMR community is slime. I don't really fucking know why, but uh, it's just one of those things that people are like obsessed with. So I was like, let's make something that's trending on YouTube right now and see if uh, see if I can milk it for views. Not really, but I thought it would be pretty cool to make it. But anyways, yeah, this is um, not not a very aesthetically pleasing parkour. Obviously, uh, <laughs> I could have done a lot better with it, but I, I just tried to create it real quick and stuff because mainly. I plan to upload this as a second video today because people really have been complaining a lot about me not doing deathmatch parkours and it's like getting to the point that it's really annoying and I almost don't even want to upload if people are just going to complain about the stuff that I upload. But you know, you got you got to overlook them haters and stuff. But anyways, yeah, this thing it's very easy parkour. It's like not hard at all. It's super super easy. Um, I'm just not a fan of deathmatch parkours like I used to be. Because I think most of them are all pretty redundant. There's not anything really crazy going on with those things. But, I mean, people seem to still love them. So, I decided to make this one. Um, it's Like I said, it's really easy. A lot of basic-ass parts on it and stuff. Well, this dude doing it at the exact same time as me. That was pretty cool. It's, like, all in synchronized and stuff. But, yeah, it's... Um, I, I didn't really want to put too many complicated things in here. Mainly because I, one of the, the downsides to, like, deathmatch parkours, in my opinion, is that, like... If there's like a part that's like super complicated or maybe like the buttons aren't um, functioning correctly or something like that, like if you could imagine like right here the part that I'm standing on, if this was standing directly overhead of something that I could drop down on, my character might, if he gets too close to the edge, might decide to drop down onto the platform below him instead of continuing to move forward. Things like that. So I try not to like make too many things like hard on here just so I could avoid shit like that happening. So. If you guys do decide to play this, there's there's like no way that you don't complete it. It's uh, really easy, and I also gave the uh, gave the okay really let's let's punch the air. This right here is exactly what I'm talking about. It's why I hate deathmatch parkour. I hate these things with a fucking passion. I really do not enjoy these. But um, the whole thing right there was he was supposed to have the jerry can in his hand, and somehow he just magically lost it, as you know things go in GTA and stuff like that. But I was using the jerry can or attempting to use the jerry can to, to move myself backwards because that's probably one of the only parts that really requires like any sort of navigation everything else is pretty much just like oh you know just jump and move forward you should be good to go but yeah I'm kind of frustrated that that happened it's just another, another another little thing to add to the list for why I fucking hate these things really can't stand it it's like okay I'm in stealth mode now he's not in stealth mode. Oh, okay, he's running, now he's walking. Now he's running for, like, 10 or 15 steps for no fucking reason. It's just, I hate these fucking things. But alright, let's 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 complete this. I, I made this for you guys. I made this for all the people that wanted to complain about deathmatch parkour. So I'll be sure to go ahead and complete this for you guys. Show you that it is 100% possible, and it's, it's also really fucking easy. If your character doesn't, you know, just randomly punch the air for no fucking reason, you should be able to complete it. I think that's uh, pretty pretty reasonable set of demands alright this part right here is not too bad I also didn't use any of the uh, the blue barricades for tight ropes I may I use literally the easiest tight ropes on here that you can use like <laughs> I think these are probably the easiest ones you can use to like to make a tight rope with on GTA but alright let's see alright let's make sure he has the okay you, you guys can verify he has the jerry can in his fucking hand so if he punches the air I'm gonna be fucking livid so okay we moved him back just a little bit and now we're gonna okay still got the jerry can still hasn't decided to punch the air again I'm telling you guys that if, if my character um, if he if he was like a, a fighting character on like a fighting game or something or a character on a fighting game I said it twice 
If he was a character on a fighting game, his specialty would be fighting the fucking air. I cannot tell you how many times this stupid fuck has fucking tried to engage in a fight with the fucking wind. It just, it just doesn't make sense. It's really the most retarded thing about, like, GTA in general. At least for me, from for my character, is that he's a fucking champion air fighter. Not like, not, <laughs> not like the Air Force. Not like, uh, not like flying a plane, but y you guys know what I mean. He fist fights the fucking wind. Like, that's, that's what he does. I hate this stupid fucking character. Alright. It's the great thing about car parkours. It's the great thing about moto parkours. It's the great thing about fucking BMX parkours. Is your character cannot fucking punch the wind for no fucking reason. That is why I love those things. I would much rather be playing one of uh, those, like, you know, BMX deathmatch parkours or fucking whatever. <sighs> that way I did not have to worry about my character fighting the fucking wind. But hey, we made it. Has nobody else made it seriously? There's no way. There is absolutely no way that nobody has made it at this point. This is literally the easiest parkour in the world. I'm, I made this thing in, like, probably 15 minutes, <laughs> if I'm being realistic. The, the thing that took the longest, actually, was trying to make the slime look like it was actually falling out of the, the tube or whatever. And even then, I didn't really exactly execute that. I mean, come on, look at this shit. Look at this. The fucking... The, the tubes that were supposed to make it kind of look like a cup or whatever, or a container, is, like, way bigger than the fucking tube. Can't really do anything about that. I didn't feel like perfecting that. Alright, so we only got, like, three minutes left or whatever. This is, this is my slime park. Or look at that. That dude made it, too. So, hell yeah. It's clearly possible. It's clearly easy as fuck. Um, disregard it. Please don't. Oh, he's gonna explode. God damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. The one thing I was looking forward to was having the fucking Wagner, using it to drive around and do all that fun shit, you know, hitting jumps and stunting around and stuff. Reminiscing about the fact that I enjoy car parkours more than this. Now that one goddamn thing got taken away from me. The character punches the air, and then he blows up the fucking car. That's the, that's what I love right there. I also didn't include too many uh, weapons. <laughs> I included a bunch of RPGs and assault rifles because that should get the job done, I think, if you're trying to kill the other team. But yeah, this is this is my slime parkour. I'm pretty sure I can complete it again in like two minutes. That's the only reason I'm still continuing to do it. Like I said, I, I did make this thing really, really easy. The only part, again, that you really have to, I think, like watch out for is the, the part with the blue containers. Only because... Um, it is really easy to, to overshoot the jump right there, so you just have to be careful, I guess. We're going to go through and do it again. I got the guns now, so I mean, I can use that instead of the jerry can, aka the magical, mysterious, disappearing jerry can, because it, it, it always fucking dis disappears on me. But alright, let's do this. Let's complete this fucking stupid parkour again. The stupid slime parkour. If you guys are not uh, familiar with ASMR, I would highly, highly, highly recommend checking it out. You, you might be somebody that experiences it. Not everyone does. Not everyone does experience it, and a lot of people that don't think it looks like or think it's like stupid because they don't understand it, which is completely fair. I'm not not like judging anybody for that. Look at that dude with his fucking sick ass parachute. But yeah, that, I mean, if you're one of those people that experiences it and stuff, it's an awesome thing. If you're not, then it's probably really weird to you, and I, I'm not, you know, not gonna hate on you for thinking it's weird. Alright. I think I may have... Can I get a shout-out PG-13 Gamer? Sure, go check this guy's channel out. I don't know if that's the name of his fucking channel, but he wanted a, a shout-out. Maybe he wanted a shout-out for his PSN. Maybe that's, <laughs> maybe that's what it is. He just wants you to go check out his PSN and add him on PlayStation. Kidding. Alright. I am not really sure if I'm going to complete this again, because I don't really know if I want to do it. This dude said that he made it again, boy. That is, no offense to Corex, I think that is the cringiest fucking statement. No offense to that guy either for saying that. I think he may have been trying to be ironic, which I hope he was, because I, I think that is a very, <laughs> I think it's a very dumb saying. I can't bring myself to say it, unless I'm saying it to be funny. But alright, let's do this. Holy fuck, there's only 43 seconds left. Damn, I've been fucking around too much. Pretty sure I, Okay. Okay, let, let's not... Let's... Okay. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> My character is incapable of walking backwards for a few seconds or turning around or anything like that. Instead, he just enjoys to fucking fall backwards and die over and over again and punch the air and drive cars and into fucking... into a cliff. What the hell is this dude gonna fucking shoot me for? Eh, fuck it, whatever. 
I really don't give a fuck. I hate these fucking things. Where's he at, though? I don't even know where he's at. But anyways, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys will stop fucking complaining about me not doing deathmatch parkour. Because as I said again, this is the third one in seven days. Thank you for watching.